What's happening YouTube? Ryan here for Tricro Studios and today I'm going to go over connecting a microphone preamp, in this case too, to a basic home studio setup. So I do want to say before I get started here, uh, you will check out the comments probably a year or two after this has been posted and you'll probably see a few things about mic level and line level. That's something for a different video on this channel so stay tuned for that. Um, but just so you know, you don't really have to worry all too much about mic level and line level audio and again that's like I said it's a video for a different day so I'll shut up about that let's go ahead and get started okay first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the back of our audio interface and in this particular audio interface we're gonna look at the right hand side at the mic line level the mic is a section where you can connect the XLR this is a combo jack so you can connect uh, TRS jack in there as well uh, make sure it is balanced though so it's got to be a TRS jack and not just an instrument cable uh, if you can help it uh, again this is more something for a different video uh, use the line levels rather than mic levels because you have more control over the uh, preamp itself rather than using uh, the built-in preamp on the audio interface that's uh, kind of a minus 10 to plus uh, 4 dBs there but again that's something for a different uh, video but try to use the line if you can all right next up we're gonna look at our two microphone preamps here the reason I have two uh, other than the fact that there's two inputs on the back uh, is we have on the left a Focusrite ISA1 which is a transistor based uh, microphone preamp and on the right we have the Universal Audio Solo 610 which is a tube based preamp um, so that's something that you can look at when you're looking to add preamps whether you want transistor or tube now we're gonna take a look at something different and by different, I mean we're going to look at the back of the ISA-1, which is our transistor-based microphone preamp. Now, all you really need to look at here is your output and input. Pretty much, you're going to have uh, a main output, such as this one, and then you're going to have either a line input or a microphone input. Speaking of inputs, what we're going to use here on our Focusrite ISA-1 is a Neumann TLM-103 condenser microphone. So what we're going to do is connect our XLR cable into the bottom of the Neumann and then we're going to look again at the Focusrite ISA-1. And on the back you're going to connect that TLM-103 into the microphone input. And what good is an input without a good output? So now we're going to look at our main output which is usually the line output and we're going to connect that to our audio interface and here we are on the back of our audio interface and we're going to connect that TRS jack that balanced input into line one now you can use an XLR here just in this example I'm using a balanced TRS jack okay now that we've successfully connected one microphone preamp let's go ahead and do the exact same thing on the UA610 so again we have microphone input and then we have a main output and you'll see on the left there is a mic and line switch so you can actually uh, select between mic level and line level and just as before we're going to connect a microphone in this instance we're going to connect a mic tech c7 condenser microphone and uh, we're going to go ahead and plug our xlr into the bottom and then go back to our microphone preamp and just as before we're going to connect our microphone into the mic input on the back of our preamp and with the help of our magical friend science we're going to connect that xlr cable into the output and in this instance, because I like dealing in line level, we're going to keep that switch down uh, rather than up in the mic position. And we're going to look at the back of our audio interface again. And once again, we're looking at the back of our audio interface. We're going to look at mic slash line two, and we're going to connect that uh, balanced TRS jack into line two. Again, you can use the mic jack here as well. You can use the uh, XLR and plug that in rather than a balanced TRS amazing there we go we've connected two microphone preamps into a basic microphone preamp in this case the universal audio apollo duo 
Now, don't feel like that this is on, this only works for the uh, Duo here. This is pretty much for any audio interface. Uh, again, mic versus line level. That's another video for down the road. Uh, but if you are interested in this kind of thing here, learning how to connect things, if you want to get a little more technical, uh, stay tuned for a video in the in the near future, which actually will show you how to connect a uh, API lunchbox with six modules and two other preamps into a Universal Audio Apollo Duo rather than a twin. Thanks again, guys. Please like comment subscribe to tricro studios tons of videos coming at you in the future